I'm here to meet Saya, who's a small business owner, and she works out of her home. And she hails from Japan, so she thinks her diet's filled with healthy foods, like fish, like vegetables, but I think she needs to bump it up a notch. She's also struggling with balancing work out of a home and finding the time to shop and cook healthy food. So let's see how she's doing. So Saya, tell me a little bit about the influences of the Japanese culture. Even though you're living here in America, mm -hmm. obviously, you have ties still to your culture. So how does that impact your food choices? So I am in New York for um, living here for five, six years so mm -hmm. far. And when I moved into New York, my parents told me, well, Saya, you have to eat 30 different ingredients a day. It's wow. a lot of work for, you know, yeah. single women with a job, yes. like working yes. every day. So your challenge on that particular mm -hmm. one is that your parents are saying 30 ingredients mm -hmm. a day. You realize you can split it between, say, three meals, maybe three meals and another snack. Yeah. But the first thing we need to do is discover what's in the fridge and pantry. So if it's okay Sounds with you, good. we're gonna go into the fridge and into the pantry and see go what Sai is doing in her house. <laughs> okay? Go ahead. Great. So Sai, let's take a look inside the fridge. And the first thing I'm going to comment is, not surprisingly, most people's fridge look a little like a hodgepodge inside. <laughs> when it comes to the fridge, the reason why I like being compulsive is for two reasons. Number one, safety. If you're aware of what you purchase new, it should go in the back and the old stuff you're finishing should go in the front. I never think about that. Okay, that way you're not going to run a risk of something turning bad, going sour, losing its nutrient density. The front stuff you want to get through quickly so you get to the new Very stuff smart. in the back. There is mayonnaise in the fridge. <laughs> I love mayonnaise. You love mayonnaise. <laughs> what do you put mayonnaise into? Um, I dip the celeries in the mayonnaise. You dip the mm -hmm. celery in the mayonnaise? Yes. Are you serious? I love it. All the Japanese does this. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. I picture an entire country <laughs> dipping their celery and carrot sticks Sometimes. into it. Absolutely. <laughs> There's a visual I will never forget. Okay, so Saya, how many tablespoons do you have at a given time? Like three to five. Three to five. A couple times. Artery clogging. What I am suggesting <laughs> is real control. You okay. have to consider this a treat, okay? Sure. When we talk about how you're keeping your fridge, I love the fact that I'm seeing lots of veggies. Yeah. Do your veggies stay fresh? Do you work your way through them pretty quickly or do they start wilting after a while and do you not use them quick enough? If I have a time to make a salad, I consume a lot of vegetables, okay. but like sometimes I have no time and it's just like stays there for a couple of days and... Then already it's mm. not so great. So let me point out the fact that your salad is a great place for you to get a lot of those ingredients. Yes. And I tell people have at least seven to eight ingredients in the salad. Sounds good. Okay, Saya, so let's look in the freezer now, okay? Let's do it. Cool. Let's pull it full open and... Okay then, <laughs> we are into white rice. <laughs> lots and lots of white rice. Do you use it for your complexion too or something? Maybe. Maybe, okay. <laughs> So, what is the concept of you freezing it individually? Is this portion sizing that's yes, going on? Yes, it is portion size. What a nice idea. However, I would like to point out that one has no idea when this freezing process took place. You might think you remember, but I think over time you tend to forget. I'd like to see a piece of masking tape okay. with a date written on it. Good idea. So, I do think you should be doing that with any frozen food that you prepare. Okay. Okay. So Saya, the next step in the process is for me to go look in your pantry real quick. Okay. Is that okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pull some things out that you seem to use on a regular basis, and then I'm going to show you some delicious things that I bought. And we'll kind of see some more do's and don'ts, and I'll give you some basic health tips to take away, okay? I'm very excited. I'm excited too, so let's go get that stuff. Yes. Okay.